Hello YouTube. <clears throat> I hope you're all doing great. Today I received a package from the company Wave Share and uh, it is uh, try to guess another display. It is a 11.9 inch IPS display widescreen obviously. No, not obviously, but it has a 320 by 1480 pixel HDMI input, touch display, and uh, let's see what's, what came in the box. This is how it came. This will be actually the first part, I guess. Just the unboxing, because I cannot wait to open this thing. Okay. And I am also receiving some pulleys, GT2 pulleys, and they kindly sent me four of them. I actually just requested two of them, but they did send me four. And this is the display, the other box. Ooh, with some goodies in there. Am I on screen because I'm standing here? A nice HDMI, HDMI cable, flat one. Hmm, that's nice. I never seen a flat one like that before. A pen for the touch screen, ballpoint pen, and here the rubber knob. And here we have <coughs> another USB cable. USB to type C and we have an adapter uh, this is actually uh, not mean mic micro HDMI to regular HDMI that would fit perfectly into my camera and here we have some feet rubber feet um, a nice cloth for cleaning the display Am I still in there? Yes. And here is the display. Ah, wow. It is quite heavy. Uh, sounds like plastic, but that's metal. I have to put my glasses on, reading glasses. Yes, it's definitely metal. It has, um, I'm not sure now what this mount is called but it has threads in there and um, where's the input <laughs> the input is hidden so here you have a maybe on off button that's pretty dark let me see if i can show this better here's the type c connector and here's the hdmi port and uh, 11.9 inch touch and this is actually a foot, so you can prop it up on your desk. Let me see if there's anything else in the box. No, nope, nothing else in the box. And uh, you can prop it on your desk. And I like that it is this heavy duty. oops definitely metal and this is metal as well i actually have a stand like that you can get those separate and can glue them onto the back of your phone and i, I really like this mechanic here very integrated very very nice design so this was the unboxing it has a screen protector I think it has two screen protectors on there and what this display also does is you can of course oops extend your desktop onto it and you can use it as a PC monitor as well now let's quickly look at these pulleys and these pulleys are for my um, camera slider right now it has a plastic pulley inside here underneath the cover and 
these pulleys on. <clears throat> they have a really big hole. Uh, it's 90 millimeters in diameter. It's a 60 uh, tooth GT2 pulley. The pulley that is most used on 3D printers with the V-slot aluminum profiles, which kind of look like this. I just had this, this, printed this to test it out. And um, in here goes a bearing with a lip. And it is the bearing uh, 6800. Uh, so 6800 bearing fits in here. It has a outside of the bearing is 20, uh, 19. The lip is 21. And the internal diameter of the bearing is 10 millimeters. And I showed you in a previous video how I'm going to use an 8 millimeter bolt with a spring to be able to tighten it to have it without play. And I have four of those. Thank you very much. I really, really appreciate it. That just gives me more uh, ideas to use those beautiful bearings. And they have uh, M3 um, threads inside them. So you can then mount the aluminum piece that I made here at the bottom one. That one will mount onto the bearing and it will have no play whatsoever and turn extremely smoothly. And I haven't seen uh, pulleys like these anywhere. Only Waveshare has them. <clears throat> So anyway, looking forward to build and finish the slider, motorized slider. And um, you can also tell from the, from the color of the aluminum, it's, it's really nicely machined. Very, very nice. But now I will get uh, comfortable, not comfortable, <laughs> get myself familiar with the display, hook it up to my PC and show you what it can do and in case you're wondering this is the web page i will link to it of course and i think they also gave me a discount code for you guys so you can get it cheaper so that's 99.99 and here you can see the interface that you can hook up to or use with your pc so anyway, this is part one. I'm not sure if I'm gonna upload this by itself or if I'm gonna edit it together with other the other parts, but we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching so far. Okay, today is the second part of the review video for this WaveShare monitor. It's a 11.9 inch monitor with 14 by 80 by 320 pixels and right now you see the ADA 64 uh, info panel running on it and um, it is quite reflective there is it there were two screen protectors on there I took one off the other one is still on there till I know where I'm gonna mount it now I'm gonna mount it and it's actually the width is almost the same as the height of my monitor so i might put them in between my first and my second monitor right now it's connected instead of the second monitor because i do have a usb to hdmi adapter that i have to find to be able to connect all three monitors to my pc and what i had not noticed uh, this little monitor has also stereo speakers on the back and the mount on the back is 50 by 50 millimeters uh, visa mount and uh, I did find a couple of them I will put them in the links uh, in the description below the links and uh, those will be affiliate links for Aliexpress and um, WaveShare does not have uh, monitor stands by itself as they don't have them so i did look on aliexpress and found some 
and you can see all the things that I'm doing here <laughs> and anyway uh, so you can use it with the uh, ADA 64 as an additional info panel or use uh, Windows I have Windows 11 the widgets on there which I show you will show you uh, the WaveShare website mentions uh, spectrum analyzer mode but I could they do not provide it I guess it's some media player with a spectrum analyzer plugin and before in the old days there were like hundreds of them out there now they're really hard to find and I did not find anything that I liked so I cannot show that to you but uh, I am going to play a p3 file it's ice flow from Canon McLeod and it's a royalty free music file so I can play that and then I will show you or le let you hear it through the speakers of this monitor of the WaveShave monitor and through the speakers of my bigger TV slash monitor so here we go that is actually the WaveShave monitor display And this is my big monitor. Obviously there are difference. I mean the speakers on the TV are much larger But still even though it has these small speakers. I also like this ballpoint pen that has a knob and this actually works on um, Cell phones as well. So anyway um, Even though the speakers are smaller way smaller and there's not much volume on the back of it Let me Try to show it to you. I mean this is all in between here are the speakers this is the visa mount 50 by 50 I think it's pretty good so and also I wanted to show you that I figured out later there's a power button here which also doubles as a brightness button so let me show that to you and as I mentioned, the case is metal. It's heavy, but I mean, sturdy. There's nothing gonna happen to that uh, enclosure. So if you short click it, you can turn it on and off. And if you long press it, it does dim. That's the lowest. Second, there are five levels. So that's the second, that's the third. fourth and fifth so you can adjust the brightness to your liking as well and which I think is pretty good and now I'm just gonna turn off the ADA and that will show it as an extension to the mm, monitors I have set up and if I go with the mouse from the center, here's the mouse. If I go right, you can see it appear here. And I will show you the display settings I have. A little lower. So this is my main monitor and this is the ADA, uh, not the ADA, the WaveShare monitor. Of course you can put it, I had it on the bottom like it is physically arranged but then I had hard time 
keeping or uh, hitting my taskbar because it's on hidden so i put it on here for the purpose of this video as i said i'm not sure i'm gonna do it and of course you can rotate the display and use it any way you like and you can display anything you want you can put a bunch of shortcuts on there if you don't have a, a steam deck like device that has that you can uh, program with shortcuts and use it like that or whatever you like and uh, if there's anybody out there that has a raspberry pi to share i am welcome to receive it <laughs> no, i welcome if you want to share it if you can sponsor one and then i will also try this display with a uh, raspberry pi i don't personally own one and um yeah so this is my conclusion if you have any questions about this beautiful display it's very bright it's an ips display and it has it's a touch display obviously it has five points of touch but i did not um calibrate it to my setup yet so anywhere i touch here it's just gonna happen somewhere on the on both of the displays and you can see it is an ips display and you have 160 degree field of view with this display and of course i will put a link in the description uh, if i remember remember correctly waveshare gave me a um, coupon for you guys so you can use it and get it a little bit cheaper the regular price is 99.95 so as i said if you have any questions let me know and i will test them and uh, answer them promptly thanks for watching thanks again waveshare uh that was very nice was this is the first display and if you like it if you um buy it from them i will probably get more opportunities to show you other products and this little guy which is a gt260 uh, teeth pulley which i'm gonna use in my slider project a motorized slider project for my camera and once i get the bearings for it and the other parts that are still missing i will show it to you again and uh, if you have anything with gt2 belts it's a six millimeter belt that you can use on here the height of the pulley is 10 millimeters it's 40 something millimeter wide uh, 19 millimeter in the middle the opening and these are m3 screws holes that you can mount it obviously so i will have a review in function as soon as i get the missing parts for it like the belts and the bearings and whatnot so anyway this is this was it for today thanks for watching and take care everybody